What's up guys? Brendan from Market Makers. Guys, are you bored yet of Bitcoin? <laughs> As you guys know, we were doing the FI summation series. We had the eight bar count here. The eight bars was the down thrust bar and the previous accumulation cycle, right? So we were looking at this down thrust bar right here, the deepest bar in the previous accumulation cycle and comparing it to the current accumulation cycle, the down thrust bar on the daily time frame. Let me find that again here. So a lot of people are asking me, well, how many days do you think we'll just be drifting kind of sideways and down? We got the eight bar count here, which is when we begin to sell and have the slight rollover, right? We have the slight rollover because we had the uh, death cross right here. And as you can see that red candle, then we just start going down, right? Let's see if we can find that over on the other side. We have the eight bars, but let's go ahead and measure this. So from the down thrust candle, we got to go to the bar before it, the zero candle to let's go to this final down thrust you see that the final down thrust candle oh actually we got to go from this bar where we finished this began the series to the final down thrust candle just to get a bar count right how many more bars you notice what that number is it's a fibonacci number 21 so let's go ahead and look at this and just get a date all we're looking for here is a date right so we're going to pick this up where we left off go 21 bars Fibonacci number February 7th Ugh. that's gonna be unfortunate if we're really trading like this until February 7th but as you can see even here on the it, these are daily candles but so we had what we had right here was from our down thrust to where we pivot it down where we start to begin to sell off you can see it right here this big this red candle right here is a 2000 2500 point sell off down so it's slightly different level if we continue the same measurement out 21 days then we are going out to february 7th before we actually do something interesting but let's see if we can find anything else that would be the final candle in the down series and then you have your pivot up okay let's see if we can find anything else in the five summation series if we go hmm what else can we look for here? Let's go, let's find this next pivot candle right here. You see this big blue pivot candle? When we actually start to begin to exit the trading range that we've been in, let's go from the down thrust bar. So we gotta go to the bar before it, the zero bar, to that pivot candle. We get 34 bars on this doji, right? 34 bar Fibonacci number, next bar is the bar that shoots up. So that's interesting. And then if we take this this um, down thrust candle here and go to the next swing high it's gonna go to the bar before it next swing high 13 bars before you pivot and go down you see that these are all Fibonacci numbers now in the daily time frame the daily time frame you know in general you want to find confluence meaning you want to find a count that ends at the same time as a count that you have for more confluence like from a from a pivotal point like a swing high a swing low they both end on the same candle and then the next bar is a pivot but you know that's just not how this is playing out for the daily time frame it's from what i can find anyways maybe you guys can find some interesting things it is interesting these are all fibonacci numbers so we're, you know, we'll see how this ends up playing out. I see a lot of people going very, very bearish. The guys that have always been bearish are super bearish. And the guys that are just kind of on the ropes, a lot of them are doing the, what if we crash? This could be horrible. I'm selling everything that I own. I'm selling my car, everything else. Um, you know, again, guys, we went over this the other day, but I'm not worried about the price action. I, I don't understand what all the hysteria is about, to be honest with you, because when you just do this, this is so simple to do. When you look, when you look, at how this is your reaccumulation box in the beginning of the bull run, right? Your accumulation box will be down off to the left. And when you just pull up your fibs, your fib retracement, match it to the up thrust of your previous all time high, you can see you held the one fib beautifully from the previous box. And then you just do this again over here. This doesn't make any sense to me. So you get, you get the down thrust candle in the reaccumulation box, pull it up to the up thrust candle and the current current all-time high and then you look at your one fib you're holding the one fib you're not even touching you're not even touching the base again so i don't understand the hysteria i understand if we lose 39,596, why people would be upset and why people would be freaking out but right now i mean you've done this that you were down in this tranche this is back when i first came to crypto by the way in may i came after this dump i wish i was here for this dump i came after this dump 
and we're just trading in this range. Remember everybody being very upset. Every time it dipped low, we're crashing. Every time it pumped up, we're going to the moon. This is all just part of the range trading, guys. This is why it's fun to trade other assets. This is why we trade Forex, stocks, metals, everything in the room, because it's always nice to have other trades, because Bitcoin right now looks to be in this range for a while. If those dates from the FI series are accurate, you're looking at February 6th, February 7th that we could be just going sideways, slightly down, slightly up, slightly down. So it's going to be a while. So, you know, you can also look at altcoin setups and things like that. Um, let's go ahead and look at some stuff on a smaller time frame. Let's look at some trend predictions. This is a four hour time frame, guys. I know it looks really Christmassy, doesn't it? Um, let's use our trend based fib. Let's get some up projections based on current trend. OK, these aren't the biggest waves but these are the waves in the current trend. So we're gonna go from our swing low to our swing high down to our swing low and just see if, how accurate this is laying out and what our projections could be for our next moves up based on the current trend, guys. So you, some people are wondering, well, could you do this same thing and do it down here? Low, high, low, you can. It's just a much smaller wave. You see how small the waves are? When I use my trend-based fib, I'm looking at bigger waves. I'm using retracements on things like this. I would probably use a retracement for that. So what I'm looking at here, 382, zooming in the price, seeing how well it's holding up based off the impulse prediction. I mean, you can see it's pretty much the ceiling. We got a couple candles above it, a lot of supply. You see that as soon as you got above it, a lot of supply being dumped on you. Same here with this candle. So we're just really in this really tight range. I mean, we're, we're just bouncing around in here. And if we do want to get rid of this trend-based fib, we could, I guess, just go ahead and pull it from here. Let's just see what it looks like. So I haven't done it. This will give us some up projections. Everything's going to be lower, as you can see. I mean, this is actually really accurate when you look at how it's playing out. So your 618, you see your trend base figure, your 618, nothing closed above it. A couple candles knifed into it, got rejected with supply. Your 0.5 fib, uh, I don't know if that closed above it. It might be right on the line, but you can see it's a, it's a ceiling for you, right? And then you're trading between the 3 to 2, the 0.5, and you fall down below that, right? So that's where you are right now. And I guess you go ahead and get some down projections. Down projections, we can do the same thing. Let's go macro. We'll go out and then come in. We'll take it from, yeah, that swing high up there is good enough. What is that price up there? That is 52.1. Let's go ahead and take it from there. Let's get our downward wave here. If this ends up going down, down, we'll see where it's going. So, I mean, look at how accurate this is. Your 382 from using a larger wave is 39,625. And as you guys know, using BitGet, 39,596 is your floor for support, right? That's your, you gotta hold that line. So your 382 is 39,625. So it's really close. Um, and again, you know, you have the numbers going down 38,149, 36,674. So you could do this from here too. Well, now you can't really, the, the wave's too small here. See, your wave would be too small if you did this in current trend for the trend-based fib. You're not going to get any information out of this. This is way too tight because there's just not enough. I mean, you can see all the numbers. I mean, your 1618 gives you the 39 number. The 39512 would be your 1618. So this just isn't as useful because you don't have as much range here uh, with your fib. So like I said, for, for areas like this, guys, just use your, trip, uh, your um, fib retracement, right? You want to look at some stuff, you want to look at uh, downward projections, go from your swing low, pull up to your swing high, it's your downward projections. You're trying to hold the 618, you see that? And then if you go down below it, but this is why I like the trend-based fib because it gives you a complete, a complete impulse wave followed with a complete retracement. And right now we're just looking at this chop. So not a lot's going on with this. If we want to pull this from up top down to our current low, you can see your resistances where you're at. You're hitting your head on the 382. So again, it's just playing with fibs, guys, seeing where you're at with price. This is a four hour time frame. Let's look at Ichi. I'm sure the cloud's still probably pretty thin. Yeah, very thin cloud, very thin cloud, but it is starting to slope a little bit downward. You see this, remember Ichi is a predictive indicator. It doesn't mean it has to do that, but you are below your moving averages, uh, this red cloud here. So, you know, you're going sideways slightly down, obviously. I mean, that's obvious. But, you know, I guess that's why a lot of people are doing their bearish thumbnails. Um, 
I mean, it makes sense from a marketing standpoint. We just haven't lost key support yet. Really, the price is just boring, and I think a lot of people are just struggling with making material to show people. That's probably the bottom line of what's happening um, in the crypto TA space on YouTube, guys. So just keep that in mind when you're watching videos. I mean, it's hard. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video tonight because there's just not a lot going on. Four-hour time frame, I mean, the last four candles now just gone up and down sideways it's really easy to talk about waves and moves it's really boring for a lot of people to look at this type of chart so anything else we want to look at here let's look at our dma cloud yeah we're inside the cloud so we're in a neutral position we're not bullish we're not bearish we're just consolidating guys and that's just what it's going to look like very bearish or boring not bearish very very boring price action um yeah, let me see what else I can show you here. If we go back to our weekly, nothing new here. You're on the same candle, still holding basically the same line as you guys can see. If we look at our daily pattern, we have more separation now in the, in the EMA death cross as you guys can see. Um, if we kept this trend-based FIB or the FIB time out here, the 1618 would be March 2nd. Man, if this thing just goes sideways till March 2nd, that would be insane. You know, we could have a lot of action before that. We could have pumps up, pumps down. But I think we're going to be consolidating a while, guys. The markets are really kind of, you know, they've been red um, for a few days now. But um, if they start rebounding, we could start seeing some movement in Bitcoin. But for right now, this is just really, really flat. I mean, and these are daily, daily candles. Since yesterday's video I made, we went sideways. The day before that, we went slightly down. Uh, so it's just really not a lot to report on. But guys, just keep the faith because this is part of trading. Trading requires patience. Understand that you're holding your key support. Under understand that there's nothing to be afraid of yet. I know a lot of people hold spot. Most commonly asked question I get asked is should I buy or sell? What should I do? And again, you're in accumulation as long as you're holding your key support. If you fall through accumulation, you're potentially rolling down. Even if you do roll down, guys, I mean, it doesn't go like this, okay? These candles are big. Like, that's a big candle, but it doesn't just drop straight down. You're going to have a drop down to some level of support and then a pump up. You'll always have opportunities to get out of positions if things go south. But for right now... I mean, we're not even flirting with 39.596. We're sitting at 41.8 right now. So unless we retest this and we start wicking down below it, that's a warning sign. You got to see what happens there. But we haven't done that yet, guys. We're just going, we're literally going sideways. That candle is almost identical in body size to the candle next to it. And this could be how, how it ends the week. It could end up looking identically like this candle, except for the shadows here. And then we got to see what the next candle does. Next candle could do this and get a little bit closer, the next candle could touch it, and then all of a sudden you start doing this, okay? And that's what we wanna see, but we don't know yet. But until we lose this number, there's not a lot to freak out about, in my opinion. Um, am I, would I be buying here? Am I accumulating here? No, because the price is flat. You know, I wanna see a trend breakout one way or the other. I wanna see some price movement, and again, I fully expect us to roll over some before we go back up. So. It's really flat. There's altcoins, different altcoins going up and down. We're posting trades in the room. If you guys are interested in that type of stuff, come check out our room. The link is in the video description. Follow us on Twitter, guys. I think we got like 4,000 followers now. Love to have you guys on our Twitter. And I'm opening a getter too. I haven't got around to that yet, which is the free speech competitor to Twitter. But um, all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Sorry, this video is kind of boring. There's just not a lot going on to show you, my friends. But uh, take care. Happy trading, guys.